elbow examination. Elbow joint is a hinge type of a joint. It is a compound joint formed of ulnohumeral and radiohumeral joints. Prerequisites for elbow examination. It is a dictum to examine both the elbows simultaneously in the same position. Patient should be either standing or sitting on a stool. The position of a shoulder, forearm and hand of the normal side must be kept in the same identical position as that of the affected limb. From the back, the triceps bulge and the tendon olecranon process, callosity and any other swelling on the point of elbow, para olecranon depression, acroneous triangle, upper end of the ulna, back of the medial and lateral condylar tips showing depression on the surface. From sides, we have to look for the bulge of the brachioradialis and the long extensors of the wrist or any other abnormality. From the inner side, the medial epicondylar prominence, supracondylar depression, and the bulge of the common flexors. Any abnormality like swelling, sinuses, scars on any aspect should be clearly noted. Palpation. Second step of examination is palpation, which again is divided into two, superficial palpation and deep palpation. In superficial palpation, you have to look for skin condition, temperature, sensation, superficial tenderness, induration, edema, arterial pulsation, crepitus. In deep palpation, we have to confirm the findings of inspection and bone should be palpated for surface, alignment, deep tenderness, abnormal prominence, disturbed relationship between the normal bony landmarks and any crepitus. Palpate the girth of the bone for thickening broadening or for the expansion of the bone. Apart from the bone, muscle around the elbow should be palpated for texture, bulk and pliability. In delayed traumatic cases, you should separately palpate for hard bony plates in the muscle mass, that is myositis Ossificans. Feel for the tips of the lateral and the medial epicondyle, the supracondylar bridge, olecranon process, head of the radius, and the joint line, which we will be discussing in the detail further in the examination. Lateral and medial epicondyle. Feel for the bony tenderness over the medial and the lateral epicondyle. Maximum point of tenderness would be over the anterior inferior region. If we plan to examine the right elbow, keeping it in 35 degree flexion, take the patient's forearm in your right hand and palpate with the thumb on the lateral epicondyle and the middle finger on the medial epicondyle. Both the epicondyle lies posterior to the supracondylar ridges. Palpate for the ulnar nerve with the pulp of the middle finger 
It will feel normally like a slippery cord. You have to check for its position, pliability, any thickening and tenderness. Supracondylar ridges. For palpating supracondylar ridge, it is better to keep the elbow flexed in 45 degree and forearm supinated as far as possible. Assessment is easy if bilateral palpation is done in symmetrical position. Feel for the epicondylar tips which are easily palpable and proceed proximally along the shaft of the humerus in the mid plane of the arm. You will feel the sharp, bony, supracondylar ridges. Look for any abnormality like tenderness, irregularity and thickening. Three-point relationship. The three-point bony prominences are the two epicondyle and the tip of the olecranon. Normally, flex the elbow at 90 degree and examine from the posterior aspect. These three bony joint points form an isosceles triangle. The intercondylar line forms the base of the triangle. Comparison has to be done with the opposite limb in the similar posture. Normally when the elbow is extended, all the three points form a straight line. If the three lines are altered, it would be due to fracture of the either epicondyle, fracture olecranon and excision arthroplasty of elbow. Fluid in the elbow joint. To examine the mild to moderate swelling in the elbow joint is not easy. Keep the elbow in a semi-flexed position as the joint capacity is maximum. Palpate the Antonius triangle for a boggy feel. That would be the synovium. And if not a boggy feel, then it is fluid in the joint. If a huge swelling, then it will be a tense swelling over the anterior aspect of the elbow joint, which would be the cubital fossa. If you feel two saturations on the either side of the triceps on the posterior aspect with fluctuation test positive, it would be triceps bursitis. Palpate for the supratrochlear lymph nodes on the medial side of the elbow and also palpate the axillary group of lymph nodes as the elbow region is drained in this group. Movements. Movements of the elbow joint has to be checked at humeroradial, humeroulnar and proximal radio ulnar joint. For assessing the elbow movements, one should examine both the elbow joint simultaneously. This is performed by placing the patient on the stool with leaning over the table with arms fully supported from shoulder to elbow. The forearm is kept fully supinated with the wrist and fingers fully extended. When viewed from the side, ask the patient to touch the table with the back of hand without lifting the shoulder at all which tells us the degree of extension in the elbow. Ask the patient to approximate the front of the forearm to the front of the arm which will give us an idea about the flexion at the elbow joint.